Inside this plane, there's a critically ill COVID-19 patient. Alessandro. He's a member of an indigenous tribe who live in Brazil's Amazon rainforest. He's been airlifted to Manaus, one of the few cities in Amazon state with intensive care beds. Every day, two planes are going out. One is for normal patients and the other is for COVID patients. Sometimes you don't have a normal patient, but we have a patient with COVID. Airlifts for COVID patients have gone up a lot. It's gone up 60% for removals. Latest figures show there are more than 500 confirmed cases of COVID-19 among 40 tribes. Many indigenous people have gone into voluntary isolation, barricading roads to protect their villages from the pandemic. But the disease is spreading quickly. There is a great movement of people from interior to Manaus. We had brought up to eight coronavirus patients per day. Even before the coronavirus crisis, Brazil's indigenous people say they were in a struggle for survival. They say President Jair Bolsonaro has stripped them of their rights and dismantled environmental protections, opening the Amazon's mineral riches for more commercial exploitation. COVID-19 is an additional threat at a time of heightened tension. The tribes say they don't have the resources needed to fight the disease. We have an underdeveloped interior. Four or five cities have intensive care units and many of them are not operational. Those in the rest of the interior, those in underdeveloped areas, are trying to get to Manaus and we could see a new wave of crowded hospitals, fights for vacancies, an intense situation. Human rights groups warn that illegal miners and loggers in the Amazon rainforest are exploiting the pandemic and that the government is ignoring or even encouraging illegal land seizures at a time when indigenous people are most vulnerable. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.